Hi, and welcome back. You have just opened Beatbox, and this is what you have seen. What do you do with this? Well, it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you what I like to do and change up how this looks to make it work best for my songs. First, you're going to see the scale option. You're going to switch it to Expert. Of course, you can always use the other ones, like Island, Normal, Diabelle, Harmonic. I've never used those. I've always used Expert because I want access to every single note. As well as this. You're going to have a bunch of these things here. You're going to want to turn on the preview of added notes, show the piano keys. How You don't have to highlight the fifth. That is only what I do. Allow adding notes not in scale. So you can go even higher or lower. Um, show notes from all channels. That's a good one. Show the octave scroll bar, which is this here. So let's say if we place a note here. Oh, you can't hear that. Hold on. We're going to go with draw bar organ 2. You can hear it's low, but if we swing this back up at this almost insane note, it's very high. So that's a pretty important thing that I like to use. The instrument copy paste buttons, you don't have to use these, but I use them a lot. It is these little things right here, the copy and paste. So this does not copy the pattern, it copies the instrument. Let's say, you can see we're on percussive organ here. Which does sound different from the other one. I mean, if we put it here. You can see they sound different. But if I copy the draw bar organ and paste it here, it becomes the draw bar organ as well. And this works for almost any song or any note that you have created. So let's say we modify this draw bar organ here. So we want it to be... A little, um, let's make it so it's a swell. Swell means it is a uh, crescendoing or decrescendoing, I think. It's no, it's crescendoing. So it's not going to have the, the hit at the beginning. And instead, it's going to sound a little more like this. And now we've made a modification to an instrument that we is not in the presets. We can copy this instrument now and place it so now it's the same instrument here. And that is pretty awesome. As well as this, um, enable channel muting. If you're creating a song and you want to focus on one channel at a time, so we have two of these notes. We're going to actually make this a different one so you can tell the difference. We're going to change this to the FM bass. So, we have two different notes. I know, that doesn't sound good, but if we mute the first channel, we only hear the first. I also accidentally always touch this over here. As well as this, if you don't like how small this layout looks, you have three different layouts to choose from. The long, which is this. <laughs> um, the tall, which looks like this. Ooh, that's scary. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> and, uh... The small, which, which which is what I prefer to use personally because it has the most simple things right in front of me and it doesn't take up the whole screen. You also have a bunch of different envelopes here. As you saw before, you have all of these to choose from and these will modify the note. And so they basically are what they say they are. A tremolo means the note will waver in a way like a whoa, 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 whoa. Um, and a decay. Now, all of these are self-explanatory. Flare is a little weird. Um, here, I'll... It's a little weird. Sometimes it works for you, for me. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit of an odd one. If I can't, I don't know how to really explain it. Note size makes so the note is a little bit louder and lasts for a little longer. And punch makes it so the beginning of the note is louder as well. I like to use this punch when I cannot hear a note in a song, and it helps a whole lot. You also have the key and the detect key. You can always change your key of the song. Of course, detect key will also tell you what key you're actually working in, but uh, it will always have. You can always change it if you don't like how your song sounds. It doesn't matter too much, but uh, it is it is fun. You got rhythm here. You have three, four, six, and eight, as well as freehand and snap notes to rhythm. Here's something cool. So let's say. 
we make a note with four four in mind. So that is our four four rhythm. And now we can change this to triplets, right? Snap notes to rhythm. This will change those notes. Given it's not a huge change, but it is a change nonetheless. Eight and six are just the extended versions, and I like to use eight for finer notes. Say when I'm making a, uh, mm, what's it called? Ah, a viber slap. Take a listen. That's pretty crazy, right? If you want to create a note like that in your drums, you can use the eight to create very fine notes. So here's another cool lesson. So let's say you have an instrument that you want from your song, right? You've created a song and there's an instrument you like. Let's find that instrument. Ah, there it is. There is my vibra slap that I've created. We can copy this and also do um, control C. And the awesome thing is that beatbox saves both of these at the same time. So you can control V and then paste. They are the same instrument, right? They are the same instrument. So it saves both your copy and paste from the instrument settings as well as your note settings. So that is my Viber Slap. It's pretty awesome and I love him, Mr. Incinosaur. Um, I hope this has helped you with the instruments and doing copy and paste functions.